Welcome to ADHD Whiskey, my name is Matt, and today we're reviewing a brand new limited release Jack Daniels product that nobody knows about. The reason that nobody knows about it is because it's actually not brand new. Unless, of course, you're living in the year 2010, in which case, it's Mr. Jack's 160th birthday. And today we're celebrating it by pouring and swirling and nosing and tasting and scoring Jack Daniels old number seven, Mr. Jack's 160th birthday bottle. But before we get into this pour that was just found in a store, let me first tell you about today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to us by the makers of the world's very first genetically engineered probiotic drink, Z Biotics. Z Biotics, what's all the fuss about? Actually, there's no fuss at all. All you do is grab a Z Biotics, you give it a good shake, you put it down the hatch before you start drinking alcohol, then you just drink responsibly, try to stay hydrated, get a good night's sleep, and guess what? Next day, you're gonna feel great! Zbiotics works by breaking down the toxic byproduct created by alcohol before it reaches the liver. That way, the day after drinking, you can deliver and be a well-functioning, oiled adult. If you want to enjoy the next day after drinking alcohol, then click on my link in the description below. Scan this QR code on the screen or go to zbiotics.com ADHD. Use code ADHD at checkout and you're gonna get 15% off your first order. Thank you Zbiotics for sponsoring the video and thank you viewers for supporting the people who support the channel. This is Jack Daniels old number seven brand, Mr. Jack's 160th birthday, 1850 to 2010. Sour Mash Tennessee Whiskey, it's a one liter bottle, 80 proof, 40% alcohol by volume. It comes in a cardboard box, so you know it will be good. I was just sitting at home one evening and my phone went a bling a ding ding dong. And I was like, what is that? Oh, it's a text message from the Clo family. And what did that message read? Dearest Matt, it's Dwayne and Zoe, and we would like to know what the heck you know about this bottle. And it was a picture of this bottle on a shelf in a store in the great state of Hawaii, of in, at, of, uh, which they were visiting. I did a quick Google search to try to look smarter than I actually am. And then when I gave them the information that I Googled, I would imagine that they knew I Googled it because they also probably Googled it and found the same information. But Dwayne and Zoe didn't let their romantic vacation getaway get in the way of bringing me home a bottle of this. Thank you, Dwayne and Zoe, so much. How cool is it that some stores just have stuff like this sitting around? I believe that the retail on this bottle was around 150 and that's what they picked it up for. Either that or a little bit less. Let's go ahead and pour a bit of Mr. Jack's 160th birthday into a glass, and then we'll find out a little bit more about its ass. America, America, America. On the back of the box it reads, Jasper Newton Jack Daniel. How do we honor Mr. Jack's 160th birthday? The same way we honor him every day of the year. All Jack ever asked was, every day we make it, we make it the best that we can. He was talking about his whiskey, of course. So we honor him on his birthday by making good on his request with the bottle you now hold. Make Mr. Jack's birthday a memorable one. Please drink responsibly. Come visit us at www.jackdaniels.com. Lynchburg, population 361, Tennessee. It comes in a matte black bottle. You can't even see the liquid inside of it. It's super cool. It is one liter. It's got a hangy neck tag for marketing purposes. We're proud to honor Mr. Jack Daniel of Lynchburg, Tennessee on his 160th birthday. Who would have guessed this man who stood just five foot two tall would grow in international stature and be celebrated today in more than 135 countries? It's a testament to Mr. Jack's dedication and a craft as a whiskey maker. And we hope you'll join us in raising a glass to his life and his life's work. Here's to Jack. So yeah, super cool bottle. It looks great. It has a super cool old feeling to it. It just seems a bit vintage. Even though it was from 2010, it does seem a bit vintage. And I dig that. I like it a lot. Now let's see if the whiskey's any good. 80 proof. They don't state an age on there or if it's any different from their normal Jack Daniels Old Number 7 product. So I'm going into this not knowing what to expect other than 
probably a whiskey that smells and tastes maybe a bit different than the offerings we have today. So we're gonna give it a bit of a swirl. Wow. That smells like a butterscotch. Butterscotch and banana. It has a bit of the dusty old bourbon note, even though it's not a whiskey from the 80s or 90s or 70s or earlier. It's a whiskey from 2010, which means it was distilled in the early 2000s, probably, depending on the age of the bourbon in the glass. But it does have a bit of that circus peanutty banana note that I get off of Dusty's. If that made love with a butterscotch cookie or a butterscotch morsel, and then they melted or melded and reproduced into something that smelled and tasted like this. All circus peanut orange marshmallow candy. That smells good. I wonder if that's what everything from 2010 smelled like. I do have an old Forester from like 2012, I think, 2013, an old Forester bottling that shares a lot of the same characteristics. A lot of the same notes on the Old Forester I get on this older bottling of Jack Daniels. Is that because they're both Brown Foreman products? Or is that just what whiskey and bourbon smelled like 13 years ago? I do not know. I do not have a time machine. So 13 years after this was bottled in 2023, whiskey smells way different. This smells completely different than any other Jack Daniels product or whiskey on the shelf today. It's just different. It, just smells different, it's weird. Now Mr. Jack would be 173. Will he earn that many points on my scoreboard this evening? Probably not. That would be a record. Dumb hatch. Huh. Stupid bug. The butterscotch came through on the palate it is 80 proof, but tastes maybe a bit higher than that. It's like an acidic butterscotch banana sawdust. Second sip. Wow, that butterscotch is so, so strong. The second sip was like pure butterscotch. Jason from the Mash and Drum would have a wet dream if I told him about this even if he was wide awake. It is almost like butterscotch extract. If that extract were extracted from alcohol, what they forgot to extract the alcohol. You know what I mean? It does taste old. If you have had dusty bourbons before or older bottlings from the 80s and 90s, this whiskey in particular carries that note. It's weird. Is this something that's going to sneak up behind you and slap you on the ass when you're not looking and then you turn around and you're like, oh, I didn't see that coming. No, but it would sneak up behind you and I don't know, whisper into your ear. And then you turn around and be like, I like what you whispered. That was super kind and kind of a turn on. This is kind of a turn on. It's a bit of a whisper in the ear from yesteryear. I like this. I like it. This is going to be a cool bottle to have around to share with people who visit, who I want to show them a bit of an older offering, especially with the Jack Daniels name on it, because the Jack Daniels name, let's face it, is kind of like American history, right? Right. Third sip, I got a bit of a cream soda note. That is a new note for me on bourbon, I believe, on whiskey in general. The flavors in this are super unique and super old school and I like that a lot. So I think 13 years after this bottle was released, this bottle is now more special. And if you can find it for that 150 bucks, it is much more worth the price today than it probably would have been in 2010. Today, Jack Daniels, old number seven brand, Mr. Jack's 160th birthday, receives a score of, for an 80 proof whiskey, 8.0, 8.0. Thank you so much, Dwayne and Zoe, for packing this in your frig and suitcase back from Hawaii for me. Incredible, incredible, you two are fantastic. This is gonna be a special bottle that's gonna sit on the shelf and I will share it with visitors of mine who wanna taste something a bit different, maybe 
a bit older. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. We are so close to 50,000. So close to 50,000. Just do it. Just hit subscribe. If you're a Jack Daniels lover or an avid Jack Daniels drinker, how long have you been drinking their product? And do you remember when this hit the shelves a while back? Have you noticed the flavor of old number seven changing over the last 10 years or so? My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on eczema. Like what on planet earth is happening to my body? Eczema, man. I can't get away from eczema. And the more times I say eczema, the, the worse it sounds. It doesn't even have a meaning anymore. Eczema, 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 eczema. Now it sounds like breakfast. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do anymore. It's like, it's on my wrists, it's on my arms. Apparently it's on my face now. It's on my legs. It's all over my glorious distinguished ripped abdomen, flabdomen. Keep your mind on moisturizing and praying to the good lords above or beyond that your skin doesn't decide to hate your guts because it is an itchy red situation and I'm having issues with it, man. Issues. I need a dermatologist or a Scientologist or whoever deals with eczema. You know what I mean? This little bug is gonna get it. You thought eczema was bad? Boom, bitch. Tell your friends. That just happened.